All right, so I'm a football now. Several talented players could miss out on overseas scholarships, while scores of coaches are expected to lose out financially following the cancellation of this year's ISA schoolboy football competition. These are expected to be among the fallout after the intersecondary school sports was forced to cancel all school competitions on, in the Christmas term on the back of the COVID-19 pandemic. Karen Madden reports. It's the news that many were dreading. No school sports for the Christmas term. The decision came following an upsurge in the COVID-19 outbreak across the island. This means that the highly anticipated schoolboy football season has just been given the red light. But while all stakeholders are fully behind the decision of the principals, the cancellation has resulted in a huge void. According to coach Lenworth Hyde, who won the Da Costa Cup, Ben Francis and Olivia Shield with Clarendon College last season, the bigger picture has to do with the coaches who are now without a salary. Now, coaches depend on the, the Da Costa Cup and the Manning Cup for salary is their job. So what's going on to them? That's all my concern right now. Manning Cup winning coach Davian Ferguson of Jamaica College is not sure how many coaches will be affected. I'm always um, hesitant peak on the situation of other coaches. Um, that's a situation that I really don't want to comment on. Um, my concern about football, though, is not necessarily school boy football. I believe our professional league to start make some, some inroads in terms of starting. Um, possible to have their comfort. But school boy football and the amateur league, I believe it's uh, the best decision at this time. But Super Cup winning coach Ludlow Bernard of Kingston College agrees with Hyde, but called on the schools to fill the void. Probably these schools could probably reach out and compensate the coaches, not, not to the full extent, but at least a percentage and probably could do it for on a monthly basis for the duration of the time that they would have been in competition. You know, I think that should be considered. I mean, after all, um, these coaches invest a lot of time and these administrations do expect and do revel in the in the successes of, of some of these teams. There are also the final year student athletes who are looking to catch the eyes of the scouts or an overseas scholarship. If, if you have a choice between life and an opportunity for scholarship or, or otherwise, um, which one would you choose? So I think that's the situation that we're now facing. It's sad, but it's the reality that we have to live with. Not for my players who are looking for their final season. You know, and as I said, the scholarship situation, they put that put a damp on, on all those aspirations for those players. So, you know, it, it's tough, but, you know. But this is the time for the local institutions to play their part. The local institutions here could probably extend some kind of an olive branch. You know, we have a number of tertiary institutions here and they do take part in collegiate sports. They could extend scholarship opportunities to, to some of these players because clearly, unless the player was being scouted from, from a prior season, it is going to be difficult for coaches overseas to really scout and recruit properly because clearly they would have had a wider pool to deal with and with no football being played here, you know, they probably would not see the need to, to look in this direction. Other sports which fall within the spring break could go ahead once the virus is no longer a threat. Karen Madden, TBJ Sports.